time got lost, so just coming this year, just giving no reason why not to make it this year. So, it means a lot to me. You, how would you describe, I guess, your approach defensively and what you think your best skills are? Uh, I would just say speed the game up for them, obviously, and you know, then make them turn the ball over a lot. So just making them play at the speed I want them to play at and be on the offensive line. What does it do for you as a scorer, as an offensive player, to be able to practice against somebody who plays as hard defensively? Uh, I mean, I ain't shot the line, man. So uh, clearly, you know, I'm, I'm comfortable with you know, doing what I'm doing, obviously. You know, I need to do something. Just, you know, so being that, that he's, you know, a great you know, defensive talent, it allows me, you know, to, to be that more focused on what I need to work on, you know, which is always true for the you know what I'm saying? So uh, it's really, you know, being able to do this every day. Like I say, he gave me different looks, you know, you know, you know different, you know, approaches to, you know, how I go about school and about different players. So uh, definitely, you know, we really enjoy it and, you know, we're really great. Do you think he's the best defender in the Big Ten? For sure. Yeah. For sure. you agree with that? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> it's, uh, Defense is not just a one-man game, though. Obviously, you got four guys out there with you. Who else on this team is your best defense? Uh, I would say, really, just everybody. Cause like you said, it's a, it's a team effort. And the day, it's just called communication. And once you communicate, that makes everything easy on the defense. You know, for, so that's just a big thing we've been harping on and practice. Just communicate, communicate. And once you talk, it just makes everything a lot easier. So I feel like everybody like just been stepping up on the defense. So. To go off of that, you know, like it's, it's almost kind of contagious, you know. Like, so you don't want to be that guy that, you know, for the other four guys out there busting their butt off and, you know, you kind of get caught, you know, lacking on it, you know, you know, not ready. So, you know what I'm saying? Once you go down the line and everyone's in sync, in sync and in tune with it, like I said, it's contagious, man. It's just, you know, it, 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 it does something to the whole team, you know. And so I feel like that's a big part and that's what we bring to us as a team. Is that happen with sort of effort plays too? Like we've seen Kyle for the last four years now run around like a pair of prior going after rebounds. Do you does that kind of spread down the rest of the team too where you want to match his energy, match your energy? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. You don't want to you want to be the hardest guy playing the floor, but you know he's gonna do his all every time, so I want to make him better get the leader all every time. Alright, do you are you have you gotten comfortable trying to Set the tone for younger guys and sort of be the guy that's like what Kyle's been doing where you know, you've got to try and your tone exactly they've got to try and match you, they've got to try and be as good as you are. Yeah, comfortable set the tone as well. That's me. So I'm gonna be myself in the matter, so they're just coming along with me being and they'll come along with that. So just bring them out hundred percent every day to practice and make sure you bring yours because you know I'm gonna bring mine. So I guess, I mean, for both of you, coming into this program, especially with how Ohio State ended its season last year, I'm curious about how those summer workouts were for you guys, the newcomers. The, like, it, it, was it different? Was there kind of a different energy than you were used to? Or, or what, what was it like for you both? Um, really just, I mean, uh, the same approach, man. It's all about the work. Yeah. You know, and this is where you win the championships at, is in the summer and in the preseason. So regardless of whether I was here, you know, last year or not, like at the end of the day, I still want to win. You know, so I'm going to bring a winner's mentality to my workouts. And that's each and every day, regardless of what I feel like or not. So uh, that's one big thing I feel like, you know, that we both bring to the team is that it's not about, you know what I'm saying, like, the, you know, that next day it's about the bigger picture. Man. You know, regardless of whether we are here or not, we still want to win. So we're going to bring that, that winning mentality and that winning toughness to the team. Is there a difference, I mean, between, say, because this is an experienced group. I mean, like, just whether it's a lot of transfers, whether it's a lot of graduate seniors, like, it's an experienced group. And I'm, and I'm curious about how, I mean, that uh, it does, does camp feel different with a lot of people knowing what what it's like to play, co like, big-time college basketball? Is it different? I mean, like, how, how do you approach it? I would say absolutely, because everyone knows that, like he said, the championship is uh, when it starts now. Yeah. So you got to bring your 100% every day. There's no shortcuts in this. And with us being in college that long, we know that. So just every day we come in and bring that energy, ready to get better, trying to get that 1% better every day. Because we know at the end of the day, it's going to pay off in the long run. Does that bring young guys along faster? Like to be a, to be a part of? Like, like how do you teach them that mentality, you know, if they're just coming in? 
Yeah, I believe so because, you know, as you said, we got a lot of experience on this team. So, like, one guy don't have to come and show up to go there, like, every day. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, one day it'll be, you know, us. The next day it'll be Kyle. The next day it'll be he's Like, we have enough older guys to where, like, we can almost help each other out each and every day. And we don't really have that many younger guys. Yeah. So, it's kind of easier to, like, the majority are older. So, it's kind of, like, way out, you know, the guys that are younger. And it's easier to bring those guys, like, in and you know correct them when they're doing wrong and allow them to stay focused because at the end of the day the majority of the team is you know like experienced already so i feel like if anything it's, it almost kind of make it easier yeah you know and to like to get stuff accomplished because at the end of the day everyone knows what we're here for who are you, which of the young guys have really bought into that winning mentality uh, really all of them man. yeah all of them man and like i said i only been here for a month and a half yeah and I, i haven't seen it man like those guys you know they really bought in they really hit the work you know they not really on any type of like you know also all freshmen hit the you know that freshman wall with those guys you know are willing to still come back each and every day regardless of how their body's feeling or, you know mentally where they're at they still you know give a 100 effort and, uh, like i say i'm, I'm, I'm proud of them. Perfect.